Today we're going to see a tactic where little old Hartlepool battered Stoke City 3-0, where Inter Milan put 12 in in one match, 12. And Fiorentina, in an amazing season, put 4-4 four, four past AC Milan. Ladies and gents, this is the most wild tactic that I've done yet. Strap in. What's happening crew? There was a request. Someone asked me, can you make a free striker system? So far this FM, the answer has been... But I gave it a try and we've got something. Right, so I'm looking to create a free striker system. And when creating a tactic, this is my biggest piece of advice for anybody. If you've built yourself a successful tactic in the past, use that as a template and then build from there. So using that philosophy, I thought, why not try one of my tactics that I'm recently using, which has been really successful. So if I go down here, I'm going to find the Lukaku tactic. There it is. Bang. I'm going to load that up. And this is how I started making the free striker system. Don't get me wrong, it's going to end up looking very different to that. But very importantly, the team instructions down the side are going to be very similar, if not identical from memory. I can't quite remember. But that is how I started it. And that's how I pretty much build all my tactics. The tricky part is getting the first tactic built to make the template off. But you do get there. Now, if you like the look of that Lukaku tactic, it is a few videos back. Have a little look on the channel for it. But that's what we based this tactic on. Now, the first team I tested it with, as always, was my Inter Milan. And this is what happened. Like I said in the intro, strap in, because this is some ride with this tactic. That's the overall results for the season. You can see we won the Serie A. But we have 93 points, winning 30 out of 38. For the Champions League, we knocked out in the quarters by PSG. We'll get onto that shortly. We won the Coppa Italia and we won the PS5, Xbox, Nintendo, Super Cup. A successful season overall. Now, if you look at the season overall, you can see we won 30 out of 38, 93 total points. A little bit disappointed we didn't make the 100 point mark, but we did hit 100 in something else, and I'll show you that right now. Here we go, stages, and then you can see champions 107 goals with only 29 against. So you're thinking, yeah, Inter Milan, whatever. You're about to do that. But listen, we conceded only 29 goals, and when I show you the tactic in a bit, you're going to be like, eh? As always, I used pre-season to make a little tweaks here and there. You can see we drew against Juve, we lost against Real Madrid. Then we changed it up for Spezia and then Inter Fiorentina, 5-0 away, and I thought, hello. And then as the results started flowing in, a little lost Atalanta there, but look at the rest of them. Four goals, five goals, six goals, three, four, three. Can you see what I'm cooking here? Goals everywhere, including that 12-1 demolition right there of Empoli. In fact, in the Champions League group stage, it was my best Champions League performance in a group stage on FM23. We won five out of six, scoring 21, only conceding four, and Atletico Madrid are in that group. Now, Atletico are notoriously good in defence on this game, but we absolutely spliced them up. If you have a little look here, try and work out what tactic we've got rocking. But you can see movement all over the place. That's a centre-back Skrinia, by the way, dinking it to the back post and Dumfries who puts it in. Little Kluvia, he's been playing on the wing. Brozovic there to Hakan. Loses it, but Brozovic dinks it back into Dzeko, one of the three strikers, and Lukaku, also one of the strikers, pings it in. And the fourth goal, driven forward from Barella from deep. A little clue for you there. He lays it back to Hakan from the wing in the top bins. Now in the Champions League, we got knocked out by PSG. There's going to be goals galore in this one. We won 3-2 at home, but we got beat 4-1 away. If you look at the chances, though, you look at the chances, it could have gone a lot better than that. But this sort of tactic is going to throw up the result or two like that. Alas, here we are with Hartlepool. Now, Hartlepool predicted to finish 19th in League 2. In fact, 22nd when you first start the game. How did we do? Well, like I said in the intro, a particular highlight was murder in Stoke City of the Championship. 3-0. How about going away to Man City's under-21s in the Papa John's Pizza Domino's Pizza Express Trophy and winning 5-1? Goals galore all over the place. And you can see there we got Hartlepool promoted, missing out on the title by one measly point. One point, but what a result. If I take you down to the player stats, you can see goals 33 and 28 for two of my strikers. Average ratings dominated by us. A dream season for Hartlepool. And I am staggered that this worked at that level. For those of you that have done lower league football management, especially League 2 in England, you know how many games there is, 46, and how wild it can be. And Hartlepool banged in 108 goals, and they also conceded 62. So this tactic, it's going to score a lot, but man, it's going to give you some heart palpitations too. But still, Hartlepool promoted just like that. This tactic has got legs. Now, the tactic and the formation and the play instructions are coming shortly, I kid you not. But first, I did it with Fiorentina, a full playthrough. In fact, the last 12 games or so, I did it on stream so people could see it in action. And 
My God, in the first season, we nearly won the league with Fiorentina. We finished second by a point. We bottled it at the end of the season, losing our last two, but we nearly won Serie A with Fiorentina. One of the lads up front was Christian Kouame, and he scored 20 in 43 matches with an average rating of 7.44 in Serie A. Truly, truly wonderful stuff. Nearly pipping the big boys to the title. In fact, we got to the semis of the Coppa Italia as well, and we've actually got the Europa Conference League final against West Ham coming up, and we're going to do that later on in the video. We'll do it live on the video, so we can see if we can take some silverware for this tactic and for the Purple Warriors of Fiorentina. Right, I've kept you long enough. Let's have a look at this bad boy. And there it is, crew. It is called the Gonzalez, named after the main man, I think, for Fiorentina, Nicolas Gonzalez. He can either play up front, which he has done quite a lot, or as an inverted winger, as you see there. Now, I did tell you it was aggressive, right? And if you look at the team instructions, this kind of counterbalances it because we've got a cautious mentality. So we're not just going crazy with the formation. And out of possession, you can see a lower defensive line. So we do sit back and try and hit teams on the break. There you see it there, and you might think, wow, that's a big gap. Players are far too far apart, especially with short passing, which I've got there. But not so, you'll see in the play instructions, I've got pretty much everyone dribbling more. So when they get the ball, they dribble forward before making the pass, closing that gap. Now look, most of our players are wide, so it makes sense to focus the play wider. There's no point stretching the width because they're already silly wide anyway. But we are going to focus the play wide to the wing backs, to the inverted wingers and the two wider strikers. And believe it or not, that's one of the main reasons I chose Trequatistas, because if you click on them there, you can see the hard-coded instructions. They do move into channels and roam around a bit, so they're not going to just stay up there. So Cabral will be the main man as the focal point, but these two, Jovic and Kouame, who perform so well, will drop, roam all over the place and offer passion options for all the other players. Now, my man Amrabat, who had such a good World Cup, my God, did he need a bit of responsibility in here, because he's literally in there by himself. That's why we've got deep line Playmaker, and you can see there, we've got a passage out and dribble more, but he's also got hard-coded hole position because he's literally got to cut out everything. He's in charge of this entire place. He's backed up by two centre-backs who have also got dribble more on, so they will bring the ball out, but you need a really good, solid player in here with good positioning and temperament. I've also got nearly all the players on mark tighter, so when they lose the ball, they're marking tight against their opposition. Just another thing, because obviously the defence is going to be under so much pressure, you could do with the midfielders helping out a bit. Now look, if you're going for a draw away from home, it's probably not the formation. But if you're searching a goal, I think we've proven with Hartlepool, with Inter Milan and these Fiorentina boys nearly winning Serie A in Season 1, it can do things. So the team instructions are nearly identical to a Lukaku tactic. So that's what I'm saying. When you get a tactic that works, have a look at the team instructions and see if it can move into different formations. Now, the play instructions will be at the end of the video, but for now, we're going to play this Fiorentina West Ham Conference League final and let's see if we can get something done. Right, so team news is sorted. Your wing backs are super important as well because they're going to do the overlaps, especially the Baraji and a good set piece taker. Never hurts anyone. A little note on opposition instructions. I don't use them unless one player on the opposition is absolutely dominating the match. Say a central midfielder, a playmaker, I'll tight mark him, but that's it. Early days in the match, but here comes Dodo down the right hand side. There's the wing back into playmaker, back to Dodo wing back, but he's losing it. And now Paqueta, that's West Ham are a tidy team, right? They're trying to hit us on the break, but the boys get back with that low defensive line. Igor dribbling more as the centre back. Here is Gonzalez, the man it's named after. Amrabat clinks it forward. A corner gets there, and Cabral puts it in for an early lead. I think this would be a really good achievement winning the Conference League. There's some big teams in it, you know, but long way to go. But here's Milinkovic to Amrabat. Back to Milinkovic. You can see the dribble more again. He drives forward. Igor's got it now. Amrabat. You can see how alone he is in the middle. But look at the play. The short touch football. The corner is in. Have a little look at the match stats up there. West Ham have not had a kick. They're playing really well. West Ham have not had a shot yet. A corner doing that tracking, the tight marking as well. Amrabat needing it all together. Here's Kouame. Here's the right wing back. Look how high up at the pitch he is. Takes on his man. He's going to look for the cross. Cabral. It's 2 0, dudes. And we are absolutely dominating. It's five minutes before half time. West Ham have not had a shot yet. They've not had a shot. Meanwhile, Gonzalez puts it in. It's free. The man the tactics named after. Let's go. Half time. That is as dominant as it gets. Three shots on target, by the way. Three goals. We've done it, boys. Two late corner goals from West Ham. Give me a bit of that. So that pretty much sums this tactic up perfectly. You've got to dominate games and then out of nowhere, teams can come back at you. But we held on. Europa Conference League is ours. Fiorentina winning something in Europe. I mean. When was the last time that happened? So a really fun tactic, a really fun tactic. It's going to leave you a bit open at the back, but it's a free striker formation. You can always have a different formation to use as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Play instructions. 
on the way.